Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I do different videos ranging from home and lifestyle. So if you like that kind of content, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. For today, we are going to be doing a home haul. It's going to be all the new purchases for the new house. I've been buying things little by little and pieces that I showed some of them over on Instagram if you follow me on there at Chrissa Teixeira. If not, I'm going to be showing those as well as a couple items that I have yet to share with you guys. I'm going to go in no particular order, some stuff for my kitchen, some stuff for Mila, some stuff for my bathroom, just a variety of pieces that I've been kind of just picking up here and there when things are like on sale or if it's at home goods, you guys know. Grab it while you can, because chances are the next time you go back, it's just not going to be there. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So the first thing I want to start off with is actually for Mila's room. I'm kind of piecing things together little by little. I'm going for like a florally boho type of feel for her room. Now that she has a big girl bed in this new house, we've been wanting to just redecorate it, go with a whole new theme compared to what we had with her nursery. I'm still going with the same color scheme, which is blush and gold, but I'm just going to be going with a different type of theme. Before I felt like it was more like just traditional, with a little bit of like princess, and she had like that crown above her bed. I went ahead and sold that, and now I'm going for more of the boho look, which I absolutely love. If I could do it in my bedroom, I would. So I figured doing it in her room would be perfect since it's becoming widely popular now and things you can find for quite affordable prices over like at home goods and things like that. So the first thing is actually this gorgeous duvet cover that I picked up. This is what sparked the inspiration around her whole room. I picked this up at Pottery Barn. It's an organic floral duvet cover. It has a beautiful, the base of it is of course a beautiful white. And then I'll take it out of the packaging just so you guys can see a little bit better here. It has these beautiful blush florals, that, which are like a watercolor, which I love because it just looks so simple and beautiful. As you can see it there, I just loved this. It stood out to me. And once I put it as her like main bedding on her bed, I think it'll tie everything in together. And then I will have linked down below, like I said, not everything is from Home Goods, so I can actually link some items for you guys down in the description for what is still available, what things, some of them are on sale and whatnot, so you guys can snag them while they're still there. This next one is going to be for our upstairs bathroom. If you guys know, the details in that bathroom are a brush nickel. So when I found this tray over at Home Goods, I felt it was perfect. A lot of the times you will actually find like chrome and the shiny type of material. It's hard to come by brush nickel. So if you find it in those stores, your chances are gonna get a really good price on it and you should snag it before it's gone. So this one I got for only $9.99 and I thought it's just perfect. I love that it's round and I especially love the bottom right here because our countertop there is Carrera marble. If you guys know, Carrera marble stains very easily. Marble in general is very porous. So I don't want to ruin it and leave things over on the counter. So having like this, I am going to put those little like cushions on the bottom. This way it doesn't scratch it either if we happen to move it at all since that upstairs bathroom we use most frequently. And on here, I'll have displayed like some cotton swabs, our, I'll have some cotton swabs, a little candle, and then our soap dispenser. This way everything's in one place and it won't have to worry about getting water onto the actual countertop. And for this one, I have actually 12 of them. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use 12 because it may be a little much. I'm just going to show you one. They're all exactly the same, so I'm sure you guys will get the idea of it. It's this gorgeous frame that has gold trim. If you guys know, downstairs we have all gold accents in the bathroom, the kitchen, and things like that. So right off of our island, I'm going to be doing a small table with like two chairs, possibly four, and along that large wall, it's just plain and basic. So I really wanted to do a gallery wall of family photos, and I'm going to be printing them black and white. I'm either going to be hanging them standing up this way, or what I think I like better is sideways like this. Let me see if I back up so I can show you guys a little better. But that's what it looks like here. It's matted eight by 10. And these you can get at Target. And then next we actually have stuff for my pantry. So when designing my kitchen, we didn't have a actual closet to be able to have like a walk-in type of pantry, but I knew I wanted to have some sort of pantry because with kids and everything like that, I wanted a place to be a little more organized, something they could easy access, go in there, get their snacks and what have you. But it is an 18 inch cabinet pantry. So basically floor to ceiling, 
and I'm having kind of a tough time organizing it. I of course want it to be functional, but I also want it to still look kind of pretty and have things labeled and whatnot. So I found these over at Home Goods the other day and I thought they were so perfect. They're this clear material and then they have of course the gold detailing so it goes with my kitchen. They have different sizes, so this small one here. I got two of these smalls. Then I also got two of these medium ones over here. So that's the medium size. And then I did one large, thinking that I may have it like at the very top of the pantry where you can't really reach things. So it'd be good to fit like a lot of stuff in here for when I need to access it, I just kind of pull down that whole bin and grab whatever I would need from the very top. That's kind of hard to reach for me. And the large one for price reference was, let's see, was $12.99, the mediums were $6.99, Oh, sorry. The mediums were $9.99 and the smalls were $6.99. If any of you guys have an 18 inch pantry and have some cool ways that you organize and feel like are very functional, let me know down below. I would love to hear them because like I said, I'm still playing around with different things and deciding if these I'm actually going to be keeping or returning. For my kitchen, I picked up actually a new utensil holder. Same thing over at Home Goods. This one was $12.99. I have one currently in gray. It's like a dark gray color, which I like. It fits things fine. But the reason I was looking for something more like this that has white and the acrylic is because I changed my flatware. I'll be showing that to you guys in just a second, but I feel like it would showcase beautifully in here, and I really love it because in my previous one that I have in my kitchen, I labeled it myself, like spoons, large spoons, things like that, but in here it has a little decal where it shows a little picture of a fork, a smaller fork, a spoon, smaller food spoon, and then knives, of course. So that's gonna be really great, easy to put away, and everything like that, and fits Plenty of things, so I got a new one of this one. I'll be donating my other one, unless I could find another purpose for it. And now for what I am most excited to show you guys, and that is going to be my flatware. It is gold, you guys. I have been looking for gold flatware for probably a good year because I needed it to be dishwasher safe. I'm gonna be totally honest. Yes, of course, I hand wash things, but majority of the time we're running around and just don't have time for that. I'm one that likes to load my dishwasher, get that going, be able to unload it when it's done, quick and easy. So I needed something that was dishwasher safe. And when I found these, I literally was jumping up and down because not only are they absolutely gorgeous, but like I said, they're dishwasher safe. Sometimes I would find ones that were dishwasher safe and they had like a twig type of pattern at the bottom, which I'm not really a fan of. These are much more simpler, traditional, just something that I feel like will be very classic and I can use for years to come. I have not used them yet, so fingers crossed they're good, durable, and they don't get ruined. I did buy two packs, so this is a set of 16. I bought another set of 16. We're gonna put one through the washer and see how it lasts, how durable it is. If it's good to go, then I, of course, will open the other pack. But I'm really excited and I hope they do work out for us because they look absolutely beautiful with my new dinnerware that I'm gonna show you guys. If you remember, I wanna say probably, yeah, last summer. So it's been pretty much like a year. I went ahead and I purchased melamine plates because our old ceramic dinner plates were kind of just breaking and they were old and I didn't want to deal with them anymore. So I went ahead, donated those, and I had bought white melamine plates. I was so excited for them. I felt like it was a little one. It was great to have. You could store them easily, wash them easily. Mike hated them. <laughs> one, because they're not really microwave friendly. The most you can put on... The most you can put them in a microwave, it said, was two minutes. He likes his food really, really hot if he's gonna warm up leftovers. So one day he burnt one of those plates and I quickly realized that they just weren't gonna work for us. He just would complain literally every time because they were also like a prettier type of design. The insert for the dinner wasn't so large. He likes things very large, which you will soon see. The dinnerware bowl that I now have is this big one here. It honestly doesn't even look that big on camera, but in person you look at my cupboards and it takes up like the entire cupboard, these bowls. 
So I purchased four of these. They're this gorgeous blush color. I love them when I saw them in the store. If you guys watched actually my world market shop with me, you would have seen that I showed these and I was contemplating, should I get them, should I not? I went ahead and got them because they were on sale and I'm so happy I did because I've been loving them so far. We've been washing them, using them, microwaving them. They have been good to go. And these are the large bowls. They're called the salad bowls on their website. I'll have them all linked down below, everything that I purchased. Um, and they been working out really great. So Mike's like portions big, he's Portuguese. So this works out great, he's been loving these so far. And then I purchased eight of the appetizer plates. So that's these here that are smaller ones. And the retail price of this one was $6.99. I believe the bowl was $7.99 retail. And then we have the dinner plate here. So nice and large, you can fit plenty of food. So we made an agreement, I'm gonna get my blush pink plates as long as they're nice and large and he can get the quantities that he wants, then we are both very happy. But let's just put, but just so you can see, I have the utensils right here. How beautiful it looks, the blush with the gold. Like it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Even more gorgeous in person, just looking out on the screen here, it's honestly not doing it justice. I love these. I know I'm gonna be using them for years to come and they are so far my favorite new purchase for the new house. So we have that whole complete set there and then I have one last item to show you guys. Um, this one is going to be a keep or return. I want your guys' opinion, let me know in the comments. It is this beverage dispenser here. As you can see, it has the gold nozzle. It's hard to come by finding things that have gold accents, you guys. So when I found it, I was so excited. It has the cork top. I'm not sure if you can see, but it does have like a speckled detail and like clear speckles on it. That is what I'm not 100% sold on. It was on clearance for only $20. I had an extra 15% coupon, so I got a really great deal on it. And I'm actually planning on using this to dispense my laundry detergent. So if you guys have done that and you feel like it works great and I should keep it, let me know. Or if you feel like you've had those in the past and it's just been a big disaster, also let me know because I'm just kind of trying to decide, one, if I like the speckling design on it, and then two, if it truly is going to be not just aesthetically pleasing, but functional for our laundry room that I'm working on. That'll probably be, I want to say two to three months till I'm 100% complete with that. So I will be, I am in the process of filming, of course, the whole before of it and doing a DIY a laundry room makeover. So you guys can stay tuned for that. But that is everything for today's new home purchase haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new things that I bought for the new house. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more videos like this. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.